hope you're doing well at home. Tumewa miss sana watoto. Tumewa miss sana kama walimu, lakini tunawakumbuka na tunawaombea. Bwana asifiwe. Eh, hey, Yesu anakupenda. Sasa tunakuja na Bible, notebook na kalamu. We're going to be talking about handling the situation, you know. Today we are going to talk about praying every day. Jesus coming the storm. You know praying is communicating with God. Matthew 6:33 ambayo inasema seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the others shall be added unto you. Matthew 5:16 Don't hide your light, let it shine for all. Let your good deeds glow for all to see, so that they will praise your heavenly Father. That means when we love God, he shines out of us like a bright light. Then everyone around us can see his light and say, "Wow, God is amazing." Praise God. Praise God, children of God. Uh, I'm Jaan, I'm happy. And I know that you are also happy. Mefurahia sana siku ya leo kwa sababu Mungu amekuwa nami, amenilinda. Nimemwona akiwa mwaminifu. Na ndani pia wewe umelindwa hasa wakati huu tumefunga shule. Ndio Mungu amekulinda, amekuwa nawe kama vile ataendelea kukuwa nawe mpaka mwisho wa holiday ambayo tumepewa ambayo ni kubwa. Najua Mungu atatubariki na atakuwa nasi. Mwana wabariki tunapo shiriki neno ama somo letu la leo na najua tutabarikiwa nimesema kama vyenye nimesema anaitwa Tjaan Patrick 
anajua tutabarikiwa uh, leo tunaangalia kuhusu ama our lesson today is about Balam and the talking donkey if you are writing write somewhere Balam and the talking donkey praise god najua ya kwamba umeandika penye unaandika umepata kalamu mahali pa kuandika na umeandika sasa tutasikiliza kwanza alafu unajua vinye tunafanya you listen first then you write later and i know that our god is going to bless us Uh, tutasoma katika kitabu cha Numbers in the book of Numbers chapter 22 verse 1 to 44 first, sorry verse 1 to 41 hapo ndipo somo letu la Balaam and the donkey ina kujia <coughs> nakuba tunajiuliza who was, was Balaam tunaangalia kwamba Balaam in the bible tunaambiwa he was a prophet Balaam was a prophet. Balaam was a prophet and he was a pagan prophet. He was a pagan prophet. He worshiped God of the Lord. Hakuwa naamini Mungu. Hakuwa naamini the God that we believe in. Alikuwa naamini miungu mingine. Na tunaona ya kwamba watu walikuwa naamini ya kwamba whatever Balaam cars it was cast and whatever he blessed it was blessed so tunaona ya kwamba chochote watu wa, walikuwa wanaamini ya kwamba balam akilaani amelaani na akibariki amebariki wakati huu wa balam tunaona kuna mtu ambaye alikuwa ambaye kwa wakati huo dia alikuwa the king ambaye anaitwa king balak he was the king of moab at that time wakati huo wa Balaam the king was king Balak he was king Balak and people wa na, na watu walikuwa wa, wanampenda walikuwa wanampenda sasa kuna kuna huyu Balaam Balaam hakuwa anafurahisha Mungu kwa sababu ya matendo yake hakuwa na jia nzuri ambazo alikuwa na anaenda nazo kwa sababu tunaona watu wa Moabi the people of Moabi Moab sorry Moab in English walikuwa wanaogopa ya kwamba Israelite walikuwa wamejaa katika ule mji wa Moabi na walikuwa wanaogopa ya kwamba wasinyakue all they were fearing that the people of the Israelite will take over the land so walikuwa wanaogopa na wakati walipokuwa wanaogopa waliita Balaam wakamwambia ya kwamba hawa watu wa wa, wa Moabi wanataka kutunyakua ama kunyakua vitu zetu kwa hivyo tungekuomba ya kwamba ukuje uongee na wao kwa sababu wewe watakusikia naye Balaam akasikiliza na akawaambia ya kwamba mtasikiliza nitasikiliza Mungu wangu vyenye ataniambia kwa hivyo tunaona aliwaambia mara ya kwanza. Mara ya kwanza akawaambia mkae hapo niende nikajuri nikaambiwe na Mungu vile anataka. Naye Mungu akamwambia ya kwamba usilaani wale watu don't curse them because they are blessed. Mungu ndiye aliambia bala don't curse those people because they are blessed. So whatever is blessed with the Lord inatuambia ina kwamba chenye Mungu amebariki hakuna mtu anaezalaani whatever God has blessed no one has can curse Aya tunapoendelea na na somo letu ni kwamba wale watu Mungu hakukubali walaaniwe alimwambia ya kwamba wasiweze kufanya nini wasiweze kulaani ama alimwambia ali, ali asiweze kulaani wale watu wa Moabi kwa sababu gani Mungu alikuwa nao na Mungu alikuwa anawapenda nayo mara ya pili tunaona ya kwamba alimwambia ya kwamba aweze wale watu wali, wa, 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 a, alikuwa anataka kuenda na wao wakati alikuwa anataka kuenda nao naye naye Mungu hakuwa anataka aende na wao yeye Balaam anataka aende na wale watu lakini Mungu hataki aende na wao. Sasa ilikuwa ni kama it was like 
anataka na yeye Mungu hataki. Sasa hapa tunaona kuna kuvurutana bala na Mungu. Mungu na bala kuna kuvurutana kwa sababu Mungu haku anataka waende na na, na bala lakini bala alikuwa anataka aende na wao. Sasa ikafikia wakati Mungu ni kama alikasilika kulingana na neno akamwambia basi uende na wao lakini ufanye vile nitakavyokwambia whatever whatever i'm going to go with them and whatever i'm going to tell you do it ikafika mahali wakaenda baram aka akaamkia the following day na akaenda na wale watu hiyo asubuhi tunaona ya kwamba ndio alichukua donkey Donki kwa Kiswahili inaitwa aje? Punda, inaitwa punda. Aka, akachukua punda yake, akaifunga vizuri na akaanza safari. Kuanza safari kwa sababu Mungu haku, hakufurahia ile ile Balaam aliyofanya akamfuata na malaika. Sasa Balaam ameenda, ameenda na donki yake, lakini Mungu amehakikisha ya kwamba amefuatwa na malaika wa Mungu kwa sababu Mungu hakufurahishwa na yeye Balaam kuenda. Tunapoendelea tunaona ya kwamba uh, alipofuatwa na donke, Balaam haku anajua kuna donke imemfu, uh, kuna kuna malaika sio donke, kuna malaika imemfu, uh, uh, amemfuata. Lakini walienda kufika mahali uh, uh, wanapoenda mara ya kwanza malaika akasimama mbele ya punda naye balam haoni lakini uh, punda inaona malaika of which balam naye hakuwa naiona sasa ba, uh, uh, donke ikaenda upande tunaona ilienda saidi moja kujaribu kutorokea nani malaika lakini balam hajui kwa nini tunaona mara ya kwanza akagonga ile punda yake hmm? akaigonga mara ya kwanza lakini hajui kwa nini punda inafanya nini inatoroka Tunaona mara ya pili, malaika pia akasimama mbele ya ile punda. Ah aka na punda ika inajaribu ku, ku ama kuhepa ama kuondokea malaika. Balam hajui kwa nini punda inatoka kwa jia, kwa nini haiendi straight, kwa nini haifuati jia. Lakini ni kwa sababu kuna malaika ambaye alikuwa mbele hataki Balam aende. Sasa tunaona ali a, a, akaigonga tena mara ya pili. Kuigonga tena mara ya pili. Punda tu imenyamaza, haina ha, 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 hakuna kitu inasema. Ha, tunaona aligonga mara ya pili. Kuigonga mara ya pili mda ika tena ikaenda ikaendelea na safari yake. Kuendelea na safari yake ikafika mahali tena. Maraika tunaona alienda akasimama mahali punda haiezi enda upande mmoja ama upande mwingine. Penye itasimama hakuna ama ha, ha, hakuna mahali pa kupotelea so ikisimama hapo ni kusimama sasa tunaona alijaribu uh, malaika akasimama mbele ya, ya, ya donkey kusimama mbele ya donkey aka uh, punda haikuweza kuepuka sababu imeona huyu ni malaika ako mbele yangu na nimebeba bala na hakuna mahali pa kupotelea kwa hivyo ilifanya nini tunaona ili ilijiangusha chini kujiangusha chini nayo na, na, naye bala makakasirika sana i think mara ya tatu aligonga kwa nguvu sana na hapa ndipo tunaona ya kwamba puda iliongea kwa sababu tumesema it is about bala and the to- talking donkey this is where the donkey talked and say why are you treating me like this i've been doing I have been carrying you all through and I have ever done to you like this. Why are you treating me like this? Unaona punda ndio inasema hivi. Why are you treating like why are you treating me like this? Iliongea hapo kwa sababu ya uchungu ambayo ilikuwa inapitia. Kwa sababu ya uchungu ambayo ilisikia mara mara ya tatu. Sasa tunaona nini ku, ku, uh, uh, kupitia hii hii a uh, ile soni yetu ya leo ya kwamba unapo uh, unapofanya kitu ni vizuri kufuata maagizo tunaona balam hakufuata maagizo abayo Mungu alifanya nini alimpea and then we should follow God's direction 
But um, they did not follow God's direction. He did what he wanted to do. But remember, God followed him through the uh, through the through an age. So we should follow God's in, uh, direction according to our uh, to according to our lesson. What else do we learn from the from this story? We should fear the Lord. According to the lesson, did Balaam fear the Lord? No or yes? No, he did not fear the Lord. Why? He was told not to follow the people of uh, the, the, those people, but he he keep on alikuwa na anaka akiuliza anaka akiuliza instead of following God he followed his own direction but what did God do he uh, uh, tuliona ya kwamba alimfuata na malaika alimfuata na nini na malaika so we should fear the lord according to the lesson we should fear the lord uh, because if balam ali fear the lord hange pitia yale mambo alipitia hange yaona yale mambo aliona and even the donkey haige haige pitia ile mambo ilifanya nini tuliona ikipitia mambo magumu hiyo ku, kuepuka kwa jia kila mahali uh, kujaribu kutorokea malaika wa Mungu lakini ikafanya nini ikafanya nini aha haikuweza kumtorokea mara ya mwisho si ndio mara ya tatu ndio tunaona haikuweza kufanya nini kumtorokea uh, sasa hii hii uh, ile soni yetu ya leo tumesoma mambo mengi tumesoma mambo mengi kuhusu that we should even be uh, uh, obedient to our lord tunafaa ku obey our lord whatever we do obey your lord but, but not only our lord even our parents Unaweza pata kama saa hii tumefunga shule. Your parent labda ameenda ama wazazi wako wameenda kazini. Umeambiwa fanya hivi na hivi. Wewe unafanya vyenye unajiambiwa. Unajiambia. Unaambiwa leo usiende mahali fulani. Na we unasema kwa sababu wazazi wangu hawako karibu, mimi nitaenda na hawatajua, hawatajua. Ukubuke Balam alifuatwa na na malaika. Wewe hujui nani anakufuata na ujue Mungu anakuona akiwa wapi akiwa biguni. Kwa hivyo tukue obedience to our parent, tuombe vinyo wanafanya, wanasema tunafanya, wakituambia don't do this, we should not, wakituambia do this, we should do what they are telling us. Let us be uh, good children, to, uh, uh, especially in this holiday. We have a very long holiday. May God bless you and may God be together with you. Mimi nimewatakia raheri kwa hii holiday yote Mungu ametupea. Mungu akulinde, Mungu akue na wewe. Popote utakapoenda, popote uta, lolote utakalofanya, Mungu aku, akupe neema, Mungu akulinde na utue obedient. Wacheni tuombe kwa sababu ya neno la Mungu. Tunakushukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya neno lako. Bwana tunasema ni asanti. Tunapoendelea Mungu wetu, Mungu tunaomba ya kwamba ukaendelea kutulinda. Mungu wetu linda hawa watoto, linda jamii zao, linda watoto wao, linda wazazi wao Mungu wetu ukakuwa na wao kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu. Tuasema ni asanti kwa neno lako Mungu wetu ambalo limetufundisha jinsi ya kufuata nyayo zako Bwana, jinsi ya kukufuata wewe mwenyewe na jinsi ya kutenda kulingana na mapenzi yako. Wasaidie Mungu wetu kutofanya ku, uh, uh, kinyume na wazazi wao ila wafanye kulingana na kufaya, kulingana na vinyo wazazi wao wanataka na ili ku, na, na pia kuwati katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Tunajua ya kwamba utawabariki na utawainua na utawalinda kwa damu ya mwana Yesu Kristo. Katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na tumeshukuru. Amen. Watoto Mungu awabariki na wapenda sana. Teacher Anne, may God bless you.